Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is the Real Estate Regroup Show and I am your host, LJ Walker. So let's talk about Mr. Soul Man, number one, the godfather of soul, actually, Mr. James Brown. Now, as you guys know, he died um, a number of years ago. And, you know, I was looking at his background and everything before passing. And he did everything right. He had his will. He had his trust. But unfortunately, you can do everything right and things still turn out wrong. Let's delve into this. So, James Brown, what his will and testament was, is that the money that he had would go to pay for his grandchildren's education and that the rest of the money would go to help misfortunate children of South Carolina and Georgia. His house, he wanted that to be set up the same way that Elvis Presley has it, where people can come in and view the home like a museum. That's what he wanted. Okay, signs, you know, good and well. But unfortunately, his kids and the woman he was with were not too happy about that. So let's deal with the woman he was with. Now, I always thought that he was married, right? Because I know that I saw pictures. I believe I saw pictures of a wedding. All right. It turns out that was a former wife that I was looking at and that he had been with someone else. Well, what happened was <laughs> uh, the last woman that he was with, she was actually married to someone else. So she annulled the marriage and then James Brown annulled his marriage to her. So they, but they never really split up. They stayed together and they also had a kid together. So when he died, she thought that she was going to have full rights to the house. And she felt that she should have some money. Because the kid at the time was underage. And I happen to agree that because she had a kid with him that was underage, he should have left a little bit more money for the kid. But he did not. And he did not leave her anything at all. My curiosity is this. I don't understand how it is that a person, especially one that's born here in America, how could you marry someone and, and not remember that you need to divorce that person before you go marry the second person? That's what's troubling and baffling to me. But I digress. <laughs> uh, South Carolina court actually agreed with me and said, no, uh, they did not consider her to be James Brown's wife because of the fact that she was married to another man when she married him and uh, bigamy is illegal. Okay, so now, but I believe she did go to court and she, you know, again, she got something for the kid. I believe each child at the end, she only had one child with him, but as you know, James Brown had children with many other women. They each got $35,000. They contested the will uh, because they said that their father was not mentally capable at the time. And they felt that the estate made him sign 
that will or help draw him draw that will up because they wanted money, you know, uh, to run and to manage the estate, they would be getting paid a lot of money. So they thought that that was what happened. Well, here's the thing. Here's how I feel about it. I did do a video a while back where there were a number of celebrities and other very uh wealthy people who said that they were not leaving their kids anything at all and they believe that their kids should work for it as a matter of fact marie osmond uh my twin we're both born on the same day uh she also said that she's not leaving her kids any money you know so i know that in the past, James Brown did drugs, but I thought that he was over it. I thought that he had uh, overcome that situation. So I didn't think that he was still mentally incapable. Um, but that is something that people are using now. If they don't agree with what you have in your will or your trust, they'll come back and say, hey, my father, my mother, whatever was not in their right mind. Now, he did have in his um, will that whoever contests the will wouldn't get anything. So I'm kind of shocked that the judge turned around and said, you know what, you all are going to get something. You're going to get $35,000. But here's the thing, though. I'm not sure if it's even worth it now because it took them 15 years to argue this the uh, lawyers are going to get most of the money. So it's like, are you really collecting 35000 at this particular point, 15 years later? Uh, you probably only, each of you are probably only going to get $500. And then those kids <laughs> probably get nothing. The... Need the needy kids of Georgia and South Carolina probably get nothing. The other issue I had with this case was that I know that many of the uh, daughters are well off. I don't know too much about the sons. I know one son is a musician. He actually was the only child that was in the will. Um, but what, uh, James Brown did was he did give all of his kids his mementos and my thing is the memento was probably worth a lot of money I'm pretty sure if they were to take those mementos to auction they could have gotten a pretty penny the other issue was that they are highly intelligent from my understanding two of them are like doctors or have PhDs or whatever so that's why I'm like, I don't get it. I really don't. Me, myself, personally, I wasn't going to give my family anything either. I mean, I would leave clothes for them. You know, I guess you would call that a memento. Clothes, jewelry, and my jewelry's fake. <laughs> anyway, uh, furniture, you know. I would give all of that to my family, but the money, I really don't want to give it to my family at all. And I'm in my right mind most of the time, <laughs> but I, the reason why I don't want to give it to my family is because my family is well off. Mo well, the majority of them are well off. Okay. The only people who really was like, struggling a little bit was my grandparents and they died a while like 15 years ago right we were giving them money but like right now i i don't i you know i i kind of feel like it's a waste giving them money when there are other people out there that are starving and all this other kind of stuff homeless and everything 
I think it's a waste of money for me to to do that. You know, so I kind of side with the wealthy people who say, you know, well, why why should we leave our children any money? Yeah, some of them don't I mean, I got cousins who I believe they make way more money than I do. You know, that's why honestly I was thinking, give everything to the church, everything else to the church. You know, they don't even live. In, um, they they don't even live here where I'm at. You know, they live in another state. I do have a few relatives here in New York, but they don't live in my neighborhood. And when I speak to them, they don't exactly sound like they even want to be in my neighborhood. So I'm saying to myself, well, you guys don't want to be in my neighborhood. You're well off anyway, so why not give it to the church and let the church use the house to help others, you know? And even if they decide that they don't want to use the house, the church, in, one of the churches in my neighborhood, even if they decide that they don't want to use it, they sell it, they can use the money to help people. So that's basically how I see. I don't think a person is necessarily insane just because they don't leave their kids money or that there's something wrong, you know. But I also, on the other hand, I see their point where it is possible that the estate, the people who are running the estate just wanted the money for themselves. And that's why he would, he cut them all off. But I feel like he didn't cut them all off completely because he was giving them mementos. Just like me, it's like, okay, um, if the kids come, I know that, you know, there are certain clothes that they want, certain jewels. Clothes, I know they want my clothes. They want my clothes. Um, furniture, they, I, I believe, a few people definitely like they want my fireplaces and stuff like that okay yes but everything else no and and like i said doc I have doctors I have engineers in my family i have um people who work in electrical with the electric companies and stuff like that and and then they don't live here and they don't want to live here so it's like you know that that's why I'm 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 perplexed on this issue so if you want to comment below and let me know what are your thoughts on this do you think that they should have left everything alone and honored what James Brown Put down or do you think that they did the right thing in fighting uh, for money from the from his estate let me know in the comments by the way he had about eight or nine children so and each of them like I said got 35,000 each so Anyway, yeah, yeah, guys, let me know how you feel. Put it in the comments. And, of course, share it amongst your friends. Remember, each one, reach one, teach one. Bye for now. Until next time, have a good night.